may need to take a sweat intermission. Hold on. Oh my god. Sweating sweating flour and dough in my eye. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Alright, as you'll see, back in my vehicle, back on the road, a special wink and a nod to a select few of you out there, kind hearted souls in the world. You know who you are. Namaste, much obliged. So I'm at my summer size, summer size, my summer exercise loop that I come to. I had the Lex Friedman, Matthew McConaughey podcast all ready to go to come here and chill and go for a loop. I just serviced three properties. I was going to come here and then I was going to take in some knowledge from Matthew McConaughey, who I do appreciate him. He's achieved a lot in his life and he's very like, you know, he's an actor, artist, writer type person, but ta 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 ta. But he's got some good insights. He's a little wooey sometimes, but I do enjoy that wooey, woo woo nature of Matthew. He's kind of tapped in in a weird spiritual way too. So I appreciate it. And then Lex Friedman's just like a crazy, you know, mathematical computer type style genius, but also just a great conversationalist and sense too, and obviously a very intelligent character. Barring that, uh, I didn't get the walk in because I came here and I'll show you now. I am surrounded and swarmed by, uh, it's it's soccer league apparently. And this reminds me of the good old days. We'll maybe talk about that while I uh, go get what I didn't come here for, but I've been meaning to come here for. And uh, I'll show you that way across the field here, one sec. And that would be right down there. If you can see, it says way on that flag, it says pizza. It says pizza and there's a black pop-up tent. That's a guy who used to coach me back in the day. And he started a stone oven, Napolitana style pizza pop-up shop type place that he drives the stone oven around on his trailer and he does specialized events, uh, you know, places like this. And then he goes to parking lots on weekends and he does catering and all that shit. And uh, I've been meaning to get one of his pies hot and fresh right off the stone. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna try to cut my way through many of these human beings and uh, come back and get a nice, hot, fresh, Napolitana style pie. He's Italian, we'll talk about it. Anyways, I'll see if he'll let me uh, film some stuff while I'm over there. Could be cool, okay. And then games and practices on Saturday morning. That's yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got the fresh hot pie. Got a couple little clips there. Nothing too much, but I'm still super like weird about encroaching on people's spaces and being like, "Hey, can I like come back and film and stuff?" And I just don't. I don't know. I could never do it really. But uh, and you know, shout out these like on scene professional like competition eaters and stuff like they really get in there and they have like an audience and stuff could never be me for for that but that's just me i just don't really like encroaching on people's personal space and making people feel uncomfortable not my deal not my thing even though they'd probably like like it and don't don't mind it but i don't know anyways let's bring you on down for the real thing cam come on down all right so we got lento wood fired pizza it's got the trailer, the oven on the back of the trailer. Let's see, let's crack into the real thing. Let's see how she's looking. I got the pepperoni and I got them to throw a little basil on at the end. They don't put the basil on because the kids don't like it for the pepperoni. They do on the margarita, the fior de latte with the basil, but not for the pepperoni. So pepperoni gets a different cheese too. It doesn't look like the fior de latte. It just looks like a mozzarella. We got that dusty, nice crusty, nice style pepperonis, and uh, that minute, I think it was something like a minute 30 to cook this bad boy. Got that nice leoparding blistering on the crust underneath, and she is hot, 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 hot. It's an eight slicer, which is bigger than I thought it would be, to be honest. I thought it would be more like a six, or they would cut it into four, but I'm down for the eight, so let's get to her. So first slice, it's got that droop to it, right? It's supposed to be like that though. That's Napolitana style. 
it's supposed to have the fold okay airy puffy elasticity right you get that elasticity supposed to be like that though supposed to be able to fold the napolitan style slice supposed to be almost wet and gooey elasticity near the center and then supposed to have that style cross there like you see right that's how it's supposed to be i worked at a pizzeria upscale restaurant though but pizzeria called libretto pizzeria and in italian libretto translates to little book and that's why they called it that because they wanted each slice where i worked though they cut it into fours into quarters so each one would be a nice quarter and you fold it like little book And this is just like that style of place. A simple San Marzano style sauce. Not a lot of, like no herbs, no garlic in that. It's just the purity of the tomato. And then you get this style across at the end, like a, It's more chewy, airy, stretchy elasticity, right? Glutinous, but you have the char from the oven, right? And that's a Napolitan style. Shouldn't be crispy, should be real thin. All right, have that droop. Back when I used to work at the place, I used to put like some chili oil and maybe some little, a little ground up padano on there. And I'd make like a pocket like that. I just <laughs> do one bites. Down to the crust. This dude, he's doing it right. $17. It was like 18 with tax. Right on par for this style of pizza. Can't go wrong. It's like you're straight out the, straight out of Italy, like you're in the homeland. She's perfect. You'll have to accept, or I'll have to accept, my sweaty, muggy face. It's like 30 degrees here. But it's one of those days where it's overcast. Gray, like it's going to thunderstorm. So the humidity is just pumping. But the sun still keeps trying to push through. It's a, it's like a Florida day. Like it's a swampy day, big time swampy. Like, you know, where <laughs> walking and you know what I mean? Walking and rubbing and chafing and thighing. It's a swampy thigh kind of day. But anyway, it's cool to be here and observe. These kids all play where I used to, me and my stepbrother. Like this brings me way back in my memory. Like, okay, first of all, I just bought pizza off of one of my old coaches. His name is Saverio and last name Lento. Highly Italian fellow, as you can tell. Um, he was always a cool coach. A very mild-mannered coach. Like, uh, you know how you have coaches that are more even keel and they want to like 
use communication to work things out. And then you have the coaches who just yell at you. He wasn't one of those guys. A very laid back style coach. I responded to both pretty okay though. We had one coach named Eric from Poland who, nice guy, good guy. He just was really passionate about the game. He would lose his lid though at a certain point, like spit flying out of his mouth and just like laying it to us. And he had no problem telling like, he, he would always be like, he would pick people up and be like, you, 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 you're all shit in the bed. Like, and then he'd point out who's playing well and he'd be like, He's like, these, 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 you guys doing awesome. He's like, you guys be more like them, you know, like get on their level type thing. <laughs> and he's freaking out. His name was Eric. I don't know if I just said that, but he's from Poland. But he he meant well, like he was just really passionate about the game. But, uh, but yeah, this place brings back tons of memories coming here for, but yeah, we used to come do, uh, there'd be days where we'd come practice for rep team. And that was my crazy coach, my rep coach. Another reason why he's so fired up, because it's like, we, you know, it's the rep team. It's like Premier League shit. Like, you got to be top, top. You know, you got selected from House League to come play a rep. So it's like, this is, this is no funny business, right? No, no, no messing around. But we used to come to practice some days, do cone drills, run suicides. And then go home, chill for a bit, and come back at night for house league. And that's what's happening here. House league. It's both intramural, if you will. Like it's it's there's a bunch of girls leagues here, and then boys leagues over here. If we can say that anymore, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna get myself into that mess right now. But yeah, there's boys, girls, and girl, boys league and girls league right now playing. And it's interesting to watch uh, like foot skills and uh, yeah, like that was a nice chip. She just chipped it in real nice. But it's, it's fun to watch like Who's got the touch? Like when you're recruiting, I'm in the action right now. When when you're recruiting for uh, for rep team, I will say though, like there was, I was watching a, a, a two guys warm up here earlier. I want to say guys, I mean like two ten year olds maybe. I'm the one kid was, he would make the team, the rep, he was dangles, touch, top corner, like he had a laser on him, like I was just like, oh man, this, this kid probably dominates it in house league, but yeah, I can understand why kids don't like the basil, it's kind of like black licorice on pizza. semi sorta too herbaceous too fragrant an adult acquired taste but yeah I'm telling you it's on par with any any uh, legit Italian style pizza I've ever had I know that he's had it in development for a long time and working on it for a while it's a family operation though like he's got his his dad stretching dough his mom's involved his like sister and cousin I th type thing I think like it's a whole family operation but it's cool having that stone oven toting it around and 
going to events like this and just interacting with the people and selling treats like that's y'all know that's one of my dreams right so shout out to him for bringing that to fruition for himself that's cool i appreciate that because i think that would be super cool to do in life but y'all know this already But it's so hot out. I'm, I'm taking a cold shower when I get home. And while I say that, how do you guys feel about cold plunges? Like, I've never done one. I'd like to do one. But they are so like the self-help fad these days like everybody's like either got a a galvanized <laughs> tub they bought from home depot or like a huge recycle bin that they fill up with ice and water or like everybody's got a makeshift cold plunge making <laughs> shorts on tiktok and instagram about like how it's changed your life and super good for your mental and your physical which there is science to prove that but it's all the rage you now it's like when things get so trendy you just eventually you're just like okay next like the cold plunge guy i get it we get it trt you're on trt Right, you drink uh, AG1 greens or like like that mud, that mud water mushroom coffee tea in the morning, and you get your cold plunge, and you talk to interdimensional beings about your health and things like that. Like you know, it's a lane, it's a van. Um, I'm dying, and I wasn't even going to make this video, but I did. So here we are with that. And uh, I guess I should say this. Two things coming up. And three. Three. I have two subscriber sponsored requests coming up real soon. Prior to my birthday, which my birthday is June 18th. I'm thinking about going live. And y'all can come and the cool people can come and be cool. And then also like the haters and the roasters. Y'all can come and say your piece too. Maybe we can have a debate where I have some discourse and you have some discourse and you can hate on me and say what you will because when you put yourself on the internet people got shit to say about you um also <laughs> the subscriber sponsored requests uh one is kind of like this but we'll talk about that it's going to be a q a though so i'm probably going to put up uh, a poll in the next day or two to gather some cues that i could a in the q a video uh, aside from that, uh, the other subscriber was the uh, sponsored request is, I don't know, it's fairly pedestrian. It's just a, a dude who was very straightforward with what he wanted and was just really just like snappy with it. Like, here's what's up. Just make it. And like, also like shout out to you. Uh, you know, this is just, I, this is my favorite meal here. You try it type thing. So, um, until the next one, you can live well, stay true. Uh, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.